Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. I'm Nico. It's nice to see you. Hope you're having a great day. Um, it's just going to be a quick, nice video about how to grow Stego in the Iowa Vrima update 4.5 if you want to be extra specific there. As you can see here, I'm just running around near south uh, southeast. So I forgot my west and east there for a second. And uh, I'm going to be showing you the AFK way to grow properly because unless you're super lucky, I don't really feel like there's any way they're going to be able to successfully grow as a stego if you're just running about like you can do with a paki let's say or you can do with a yuta as you're growing it's just a lot more riskier as you can't escape pretty much anything that comes at you and i would say you'd have to wait really if you really want to rush it from 50 percent, then you can start wandering around but again you're always going to be at risk and i will give you a few examples in the video of why as well it's probably best to just stay afk growing as long as you've got the patience and as long as you got the will to sit in a bush maybe sit down go on tiktok go on youtube do do whatever do your homework and so pretty much what i've done here is spawned at southeast um i have been moving around a little bit so it's not exactly where i did spawn i come there and so i can start getting my sumac which is one of the three that you want to get at the beginning then we make our way over and we start going to central grasslands or center as most people will call it and we get the marigold and they're the two that you really want to focus on at first is getting like you want to hide bush to bush always look around make sure that there is nothing there no predators there walking about there just sit tight in the bush you should be fine then when they move out start smelling around and then start finding the marigold as well now as you'll see here one great example of why you shouldn't be running in the wide open as beautiful as the grasslands are i run into a yuta and i'm very lucky that as a baby, you still are a beast, and the Utah was absolutely terrible here. But remember, you're not always going to be lucky, as I'm pretty sure you've played this game enough, and you know it is brutal. If you lose something, you lose it all, and then you have to start growing again. Got lucky here. But just try and not be as stupid as I was there and just try and stick to the edges on the bushes. Don't try and cut corners by going straight down the middle unless you absolutely have to. Quick tip as well, when you're making your way after you've got already the marigold and you've got the sumac and you're looking for pumpkin, which is the one you have to travel furthest for because the other two are pretty much next to each other in terms of the map. Just have a little sniff around before you start getting before you start getting near northwest because as you can see here, I got lucky and I found some pumpkin. Which is great, because now that means I can fully start my grow. I've got my pumpkin out. I have to be careful when I'm going out in the open. I'm going to look everywhere. But once I'm done eating, I'm going to carry one in my mouth for later. And I'm just going to go hide in the bush. And pretty much that is going to be the rest of my time until I get to about 50%. Now, of course, if I need to find some more food, I'll have to travel around again, repeating the same steps, hiding in bushes, running around edges, trying to be as hidden as possible and making sure that I'm out of the way of predators. So I want to stay away from fights until I get big. Because it does take a long time to grow this bloody dinosaur, I'll tell you that. Another little quick tip here. If you can see this part here, if you don't recognize it for whatever reason, if you haven't been here before, this is what they call shallows. It is now dried up. Sorry if you heard that that was my phone. Uh, it is glitched at the moment. They'll probably fix it in update 5. Um, if you just walk around like I do, I, I click Z, so I walk a lot slower, so... I can catch it in time, like stop in time, and uh, you can drink there. The no crocs can come and get you. So happy days. But only one negative with that is that everyone knows about it pretty much, and everyone starts coming there. So it is quite a dangerous spot as well. Maybe the crocs won't get you, but maybe some uters or carnals will. Now, of course, once you have all three diets, you grow a lot quicker. It goes up by 120%, in fact, which is a lot better than being on zero diet, which you get nothing. Or if you have only one, let's say you only have sumac. That just puts it down to what the normal amount amount of growth is. If you have two, let's say sumac and marigold, it'll be up by 50%. Maybe have all three, again, it'll be 120%, which is what we're aiming for, because stego takes too long, so you need to get those three. Now, as you can see, as old goes to plan, you become a big boy like this. Now, you're not fully grown yet, at least I wasn't here. I was, I believe, 69%, and uh, I did my last part of the growth, because again, I just wanted to get to 100% nice and clean, fully adult, fully everything, and then start going around and enjoying being a stego. But by all means, you can take on carnals, you can take on uters, you can pretty much take on anything. 
you want with this the only problem is that you still if you're swimming through water if you have no choice and you need to drink a big fully grown dinosuchus can still drag you under and you don't want to do that because at this stage it can already be three hours of your gameplay which you could have grown to Utah raptors or even a paki or two so that's something to consider it's up to you again this is where you can start being a bit more free but if you want to stay a little bit longer again same things just repeat everything hide and seek pretty much and uh, yeah you get to a juicing stage and the juicy stage will obviously look like this So one of the examples as well of why not to grow with others would simply be this clip here. As you'll see, the problem is when you grow with others, you're more likely to get killed by even a stego <laughs> than you are a predator because you will accidentally kill them. Now, I'm still not 100% who unfortunately destroyed the baby out of me and my friend here. But, well, I don't think it was the Kano. But either way, it's happened to me a lot of times I've died. The problem is with a stego, you cannot protect your baby because, well, it's impossible. They have to be right in front of you. If they're right in front of your face, then that is your weak spot where you literally, your tail cannot reach. That little percentage in front of your face that your tail can't reach is where the predators will come. If you're anywhere else around where the tail can reach, it's a one shot. Goodbye. Good night. Your baby is gone. I know it's lonely. Or even do it alone together if you're both growing together. But do not grow with an adult stego or a 50% stego and rely on their protection because you're most likely going to die. And if you're super lucky, you're probably more likely able to grow with a tento, which at least they can run around you. Stego can't run around because as soon as the storm is up, that's it. It can't protect you and it can't protect itself. And there you have it. And that's the simple ways to grow stego. The hide and seek way, the AFK way, whatever it is, however it is you want to call it, is the easiest way. I've grown quite a few now and I get a 90% success rate with that, you could say. It's always just bad luck if I die, just like any survival game really. But this is the big juicy meaty cow with spikes and yeah, once you add this, pretty much nothing will attack you because you are practically indestructible. Even for 5 carnals, unless they are good players, you don't have to worry about too much. Just as long as you know how to hit right, which I'll do a video on that as well, then you should be fine. Apart from that, hope you guys enjoyed the video. If there was anything that was unclear, then do let me know down in the comments. I'll be happy to explain it a bit more in detail in writing. Because I know sometimes my accent can be a bit tricky to understand. <laughs> but apart from that, have a great day. I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace.